This weekend I'm going to give the Prado a little bit of love. Hasn't had a full service in a little while and I've decided that I'm going to do a pretty decent four-wheel drive trip in the next two and a bit weeks. Uh, probably a two-week trip, so stay tuned for that. I'm going to try and film the whole time. A bit hard to film this week. I did myself a mischief. Stacked it getting out of the shower. Put my bottom teeth through my lips. So it's still about half an inch thick. Four stitches. Good times. Anyway. Got a heap of work to do, some's going to be today and then some will be probably next weekend. Full service, engine oil, filter, fuel filter. It's got a K&N filter so I'll clean and grease that. And then diffs and transfer case. Lube everything up and I've even got some of this white lithium grease from Super Cheap. A little thumb pump for doing the diffs, one litre, pretty handy. And grease gun. A good tip for your car maintenance. I keep everything I've done to the Prado and pretty much any vehicle listed in the notes on my phone. So, some plug size, 14 mil. All filter type and capacity, you know, tools to get out the uh, the front diff plug, capacity, the bash plates, transfer cases, all that sort of stuff. And then I list down every maintenance event that I've done. When I put the lift kit in, new CVs, when I did the oils, when I fitted a battery. Just makes it really handy to see what I've done and how old it is. And it makes it really easy to set the job up, so I've got the oil filter wrench, 10 mil socket, 14 mil for the sump drain, 24 mil for the uh, transfer case. Got some of these car ramps to get it off the ground a little bit, so I'll throw it up on that. And then some other mods. I'm going to replace all the scrivets and the engine bay bolts. These little scrivets here, I don't like them. They're always breaking every time I take them out. So I'm going to use the rib nut gun. Probably take these out a little bit bigger and put rib nuts in there that takes these. We've also got another car mount from Quadlock to match the one in my work ute. Going to rewire the winch with this 500 amp relay so i can turn the winch on and off in the cab got some replacement number plates because my other ones are all faded after a few years quite a lot of years i've also got a snorkel on the way some weather shields for the windows and i've got black raptor paint and one of those very nozzles and i'm been meaning to spray the whole car for quite a while it's all scratched up getting a full respray is like six grand the car's worth what 18 roughly with COVID tax, it might be worth about 35 at the moment. Yeah, who knows? I resprayed the roof myself, and the roof's held up fine, just dusty. But for the bonnet, I used a different brand of clear coat, I think it was, or maybe the prep was different or something. I thought I did it right, but I'm no spray painter, and it just completely let go. So I'm gonna take this back to bare metal and wrap the coat, the bonnet, before I head away, and then I'll do the rest when I come back, because it's probably gonna get all scratched up anyway. So yeah, let's make a start. I'll start with the servicing and then get on to the mods. Let's do it. Always undo the fill bung before you undo the drain bung. Because if you can't get the fill bung out, you can't put oil back in it. Sit. <clears throat> it's 
one later. That's a hot bit out of the way. Time to crack a beer and give everything a bit of a degrease. Burn these two cans up and then I'm gonna get under there with the karcher and just degrease everything, wash all the dirt out, any oil leaks. I don't think there's any actual leaks, it's just like grease that spins off the um, the unis after I've greased them last time and that sort of stuff. So let's give all underneath the wash. So before I head off on this trip, I can have a look underneath maybe end of next week and see if there's any fresh leaks, which I don't think there is, but yeah, let's do that. Let that have a soak for a bit while I finish this beer. Then I'll hit it with the soap and hit it with the gurney. All soaked up. Have another beer, let it soak, and then we'll wash it off. Go, squeak clean. This has made me up some social media stickers for the back window on a cricket machine. Pretty cool and that brushed bronze. I like it. Now it's time to get it back down off the stands, fire it up, check the engine oil. That's the servicing done except for the fuel filter. And then get on to some mods. Spot on, right on the dot. I got another one of these quad lock windscreen mounts. I didn't get the charging head on this one because I run CarPlay in this car and you've got to have it plugged in anyway, so the wireless charging doesn't really help me out. I do have the wireless charging in the other ute. Seems to be the only one that mounts good, doesn't fall off. Corrugated roads, still stays on. Been running that one now for about two years in the Hilux. So I've got this stick on disc where you can stick this on somewhere to use that as your mounting surface, but I never use that. Fill this thing off. Big sticky silicon cup. Try and put it in the right spot, I reckon about. We'll start with that. Give it a push, it sticks. And then you give it a turn, it snaps on. That is ain't coming off. Reposition once more phone on there, but good to go. Next up, I want to fit these in place of those plastic scrivets. Just got these on eBay. So I get the right size pre drill and get the nut cert. Uh, tongs, whatever they are up there. I'll have a got one. This one takes a 9mm drill for the pre drill. We'll give one a go. That's not one, that's one there. There we go. 
you can feel it pull and flange out, and then you can feel it and kind of squash it right down. You gotta be careful you don't rip the threads out. Just test fit it with this one. Sits underneath there nicely. Look at this neat little cup anodized washer things. That'll sit on top. And then this countersunk set screw. They look pretty good. And they clamp down harder than the scrivets. Success. Pull this canine filter out, give it a service. I've never actually done it before since I put it in. It's only new. I've got the kit. It's pretty filthy. Go and give it a wash. I've got this cleaner and reckons. Apply cleaner, rinse filter, dry filter, oil filter. Let's give it a go. Be interesting to see how much filth comes out of it. I can see shit in there. I don't want to damage the mesh, but there's stuff in there. Bits of fluff, leaves, that shit. Sticks. It's on the airbox side, so it's not going to go in the turbo, but still, I'd rather not have it in there. Squeaky clean. Get some of the excess water off. Yeet. Yeet. I'll give it a sunbake for a bit. That'll do. While we wait for that air filter to dry, do another couple of jobs. Got a new set of number plates, the other ones are all faded. I did want to get prestige candy bee plates, but I was like, yeah, it's just a waste of money. These are all faded, but apparently there's gold and black now. If you've got this gold and black Queensland plates, there's a different reflective type of thing they use, different standard. So the back one here is pretty much illegible. I do want to get some number plate protectors for these. I might go super cheap tomorrow. It's front done. That one is super cooked. Much better. These ones can go up in the shed with the collection. Some street signs and there's some other number plates behind that flag over there. All legally obtained. Righto. What next? Probably the last mod for this video. I've got a set of these wind deflectors, whatever you call them. Wind shields. Two for the front doors, two for the rear doors. Massive $44.80 on eBay delivered, so can't go wrong there. I'll throw a link in the description if you're looking for those. So yeah, just gonna wipe off the mating surfaces with some isopropyl alcohol. It's got 3M tape on the back, stick them on, let's do it. They seem to stick on alright, a little bit hard to line up, but tinted. They already stand out like dog's balls, so that's good. In the meantime, the Prado stays parked in the yard for a couple of weeks at a time because I don't really use it. It's just parked there for camping trips. It means I can leave the windows cracked a little bit and let the heat out so it's not getting super hot inside and melting things. Hmm. That's it for another week, guys. Next week, we will get on with Raptor lining the bonnet because it's cooked. Um, pulling out the back seat, start loading up. I'm gonna fold up some storage ideas for the back in the drawers, heat more stuff, so tune in for that. 
Don't forget you can get sneak peeks over on Instagram, TikTok. I'll put all the thingies here. So yeah, thanks for watching. See you next weekend. Cheers.